Good morning, guys. Um, it's been about four weeks since I filmed my last video, uh, so I thought I would bring you um, another one. This is my, not my newest bag. My newest bag is actually from Walmart, but um, I received this uh, about a, maybe a week and a half ago, almost two weeks. Um, I ordered this off of QVC where I get all my lug bags. Uh, to date, this is my fourth lug bag. Um, my, I gave my extra large carousel, um, lug bag to my 27 uh, year old because she was looking for a square, like black bag. So this one is the Navigator in the pattern wildlife black and i love it um i my favorite style of handbag has always been like the lunchbox looking style um whether it has a flap or whether it's just plain like this one it's just my favorite style um please excuse the mess around me i'm getting ready to strip my sheets and my blankets and wash them so um it is excuse me, Saturday morning and my husband's at work and it's, you know, quiet. There's only one, my 13 year old is the only one up right now. Uh, we all stayed up a bit late last night. Um, I called out from work because my youngest had a seizure and I took her to the emergency room because she was wheezing. Um, we don't have to go to the emergency room every time she has a seizure, but we do go um, if her seizures vary in length or the intensity of them. Um, in other words, if, you know, something changes, uh, if she starts, you know, gasping for breath, um, if it lasts more than four minutes, which is her normal standard, uh, seizure, then we are to go to the emergency room. That is pretty much orders from her neurologist. So I took her because, um, her older sister, I was getting ready for work and her older sister noticed that she was wheezing, which is not normal. So, uh, I called out from work and I have to take her. Um, they understand the situation. My bosses all know, you know, that my child has a disability. So, you know, they make allowances for that because, um, you know, my husband can't, he is her stepfather. Um, and he has not, we don't have the money for him to adopt her right now. Um, and we are in the process of making a power of attorney so that he can get her treated. Um, if you know, God forbid the unforeseen happen. So quick little side note there, but, um, yeah, so this bag came to me a week and a half ago. Um, it is from QVC. It is the lug navigator again in the wildlife black. And I just, adore the pattern. Um, if you, the colors are probably not coming off correctly because of the lighting, um, situation here in my room. We just basically have two tiny lights, um, that we use, you know, like nightstand lights. Um, our light on our ceiling fan needs to be, um, fixed. Um, we have an electrician coming next week for that. Uh, so we actually have a larger light. Um, but you know, you have to do everything now as money dictates, you know, cause I'm pretty sure a lot of us, um, are not rich. So you got to do what you can when you can. So the colors in this bag are kind of like a moss green. There's a little bit of kind of like a Wedgwood blue. You have your orange, you have white. Of course the back is black. Then you have gray. Some of the animals are gray, like the lemur, um, you know, of course, you have the sort of bright yellow with the um, leopard. And then on the back of this, now this, you don't get this on every single one. Um, I do have a friend that had this bag. That's one reason why I wanted it. And she does not have the elephant on her bag. So I guess it's, you know, kind of as you get. But you can clearly see there's a monkey, an elephant. I think that's a macaw. So yeah, I absolutely adore this bag. And if it is one of the ones that does have the top pocket, some of their newer bags don't have the top pocket. It does have the long strap, which is very comfortable to wear. Even when this bag is heavy, it's comfortable. 
This is a new sanitizer that I purchased at Walmart. This is mint citrus. It's called Olka, O-L-K-A, I believe. Um, and I just thought it was really cute. It doesn't really match the bag, but I like to have hand sanitizer on my, you know, maybe not on the outside of my purses, but in my purse. And I do carry multiple forms of it. This is a spray, as you can see. And it's really, I just thought it was adorable. It looks like an egg. Anyway, and then uh, my other charm on here is my owl. This is one of my actual good luck charms. Um, for some reason, when I have this charm on my bag, I seem to have better luck with a lot of things. Not sure why. But anyway, so to get into the bag, it possesses two large front pockets, which I love. If you know anything about Lug, you know they always have a standard, um, you know, like protected cell phone pocket. It's like a grayish felt. It's, I love it. It has your standard lug um, pocket on the back, and it's a snap. It's not a zip. So, and you can see the pattern is kind of like this lovely, again, like a moss green, um, almost like a fleur-de-lis. Not quite, but almost. And then, yeah, <laughs> I like to leave the strap on because, as you guys know, I'm pretty much a crossbody bag girl. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into our, oh, another thing. This one actually has two pockets, which is pretty stinking cool. This pocket is rather skinny, um, as you'll see, and then this is kind of like the big pop-up. But anyway, to go and start into the bag, we're going to open this one, and it does flap down, which is really awesome. And again, you can see the pattern. In here, I have my new Trader Joe's Grapefruit and Lemon. This is, um... My kids actually like this one much better than they like the mint citrus, so I just basically tag it along just for them. Standard Lysol, because you can never be too careful. And then my pepper spray. So that is what is in this pouch right here. Oh, I also forgot to show you. I'm sorry. Um, this bag does have like the water bottle pocket. You unsnap it. And then it expands. So, like, if you wanted to put a water bottle in here, small water bottle, you could. You could even put, like, one of those little totes umbrellas in it if you absolutely were so inclined. All right. And then the other pocket here has my wallet. That's one reason why I like these pockets. This is the, the sack black and silver card holder. It's actually just called a card holder. There's no name for it. Um, so I keep... You know, all of the most important cards, you know, driver's license, credit card, debit card, our tax card, um, you know, some extra cards here. And then on the opposite side, it's the same. So you get eight right off the bat and then you get extra um, pockets there. And then I have one or two more cards in here. Uh, it is a three side, um, you know, zip card holder and you can carry cash. And if you're just absolutely feeling like you don't want to take your whole entire purse into the store. You can hook this up to your keys and just go. And I absolutely love that. I love the fact that it's so quick and convenient. This is where my cell phone goes um, when I am not using it. This pocket I find kind of bulks out too much when I try to put my cell phone in there. Um, I also have a pop socket on my um, cell phone, so that does kind of make it a little bit you know, more difficult. I'm going to start with the back pocket first. Um, again, that beautiful pattern. I have my snack bar in here, which got squished. And I'm kind of upset about that, but, you know, it's still edible. And then I have, um, I recently purchased these from um, Amazon. They came in a packet of five. They're called Field Books from Excello brand. And this is purple with gold flamingos on it and you'll probably be seeing um some of the other ones in some of my future upcoming videos and then i have um the notes from the doctor's visit for my 13 year old um because she is on prozac for her anxiety and of course capra for her seizures so that is that pocket like i said you can clearly see that it, oh i almost forgot my goodness
I forgot there was other stuff in there. <laughs> I apologize. I have a comb um, from the Dollar Tree that is actually infused with coconut oil. So it smells really good and it helps to moisturize your hair. I have Hall's mini uh, cherries because you just never know when you're going to randomly break out in a cough. Whether it's because of allergy or because of... Um, you know, just because you have a dry throat. So I have my planner. This is my face planner. It has some paperwork and stuff in it. Um, you know, just because, you know, we've been all over the place lately. <laughs> anyway, and then to go ahead and open this puppy, this is the big, big pocket. I don't know if the light is really doing it justice. I hope so. Um, I'm hoping to get a bigger, brighter bedside light here soon, so hopefully that'll make the quality of my videos just a little bit better. It does have a built-in key leash, so and you can clearly see that um, lug keychain. This came with my last lug bag that I ordered, and I will show that to you guys here soon. So in this pocket, you know, lug is known for their clear... Um, pockets and just the sheer amount of space that you get in their bags. Even their tinier bags have a pretty prodigious amount of space. So I'm keeping my wipes in here because occasionally they do leak and it's nice to have them in a pocket where, you know, it's clear plastic. And this is my new um, hand cream for now. It's actually body lotion, but I love it. It is the Hemp's Exotic Green Tea and Asian Pear. It really smells good, and it's actually super moisturizing. All right, so I'm back to the icebreakers spearmint because I can't stay away from spearmint too long. I have one of my Patu mesh bags in here with all my essentials, and as I mentioned in my last video, I am carrying more um, even in the smaller bags, just because, you know, we've been running around so much, you never know when something is going to be needed. I have this clear bag that I repurchased from Walmart. I lost the original, um, in the move somewhere between where we, when we put our stuff in the storage space and when we started dumping it out, I have no idea what happened to it, but you know, they keep making these, they keep, they still have the pink ones, they still have this, you know, black one that's clear, so clear eyes, maximum itchy, hard candy, um, like the Maryland collection in nude, it's just kind of like a light sparkly, and it, this is actually a lip balm, and I wear this in the interim between when I wear my, um, Bioderma, because I find that, you know, the more that you wear the same chapstick, the more that your lips, you know, start getting aggravated, or at least mine do. Uh, it's not my time of the month, but I always carry around a supply just in case. It could be for my kid, could be for some random stranger that's stuck in the bathroom. You know, I just try to be prepared because you just never know, especially now that I'm in menopause. My, you know, ladies time seems to come whenever she feels like it. A Mary Kay Time Wise um, Sunscreen Moisturizer. Alme Perfecting Concealer. Again, see, look, the label's starting to wear off already. <laughs> it's what I'm known for. My um, Hard Candy Brows Now. I got this for my kid, and then she didn't end up wanting it. So, you know, I end up wearing this a little bit. This is like the Subtle Pink Chapstick Total Hydration. I got my Ride or Die Tahitian Gardenia Pacifica. I haven't been using this as much lately because a lot of my perfumes were in the storage space, but it's nice to have a perfume on you just in case you leave and forget to put some on. A crystal nail file purchased from the Dollar Tree. My favorite um, Maybelline Lash Discovery. This is my all-time favorite mascara. Um, but you know, I don't know if they're discontinuing it or they just don't carry it in some stores because I only seem to be able to find this in CVS. And then this is a stick that, um, it's like an orange stick. 
for your nails, but I've actually been using it more as like a toothpick than anything else because every time I try to carry toothpicks in my bag, they all spill out everywhere and then huh, it's like literally mayhem in my purse. So yeah. And then for those of you who ask if you can reuse toothpicks, yes, you absolutely can, but you need to clean it. And I clean it by putting it in steaming hot water. So yeah. I've only used it a couple times though. My black and silver bag is holding some Rolaids. Um, a Balms Away Mented Coconut Lip Treatment. I usually use this at night before I go to bed. It's very moisturizing. Rolaids. Heartburn pill. And then my gray um, pill container. You guys saw the blue one in the last video. So then I have my change purse. I just prefer keeping my change separate from the rest of my, you know, rest of my wallet. It's just a little black change purse that I got off of Amazon. I think it was like $4.99 and it's got multiple pockets. So I actually have two stamps in the bottom pocket just in case. And then on the back wall, you can clearly see it says lug, well, lug navigator. It also has these pockets, which is pretty awesome. So in here, I don't know if I have anything or not. Yes, I do. Okay. So in here I have a, um, one of those N15 or whatever masks, N95. I don't remember the name of it. I still keep a mask though. Extra pens. Sorry, it wants to flop over. These are the newest pens I ordered off of Amazon. These are the Mr. Pen. And they're very long. Like, it's, it's quite long. So, yeah. All right, so then in the gusseted pockets back here. Sorry, guys. Nylon purses tend to kind of fall apart when you take the stuff out of them. So I have my Philippians 1-3 pen. I have my... Um, yeah, I always have it upside down. Pilot Razor Point 2. And then in this final pocket right here, I have a pack of Mint Bliss. Oh, good grief, this bag. Mint Bliss Trident Gum. I have... Oh, going into the wrong... I have my new mirror. I got it just to kind of give my other mirror a little bit of a break. It is double-sided. I purchased it off of Amazon. And I like it. It's hinged very well, so you could literally put it like that, and it works. And it's like a almost like a leathery suede. And then, of course, my tissues, just because I have to have tissues. It's, you know, that's who I am. I have allergies. My kids have allergies. Um, you know, yeah. <laughs> In fact, my daughter just got prescribed as a last teen, uh, nasal spray yesterday. So yeah, this is more of a lifesaver than it is, you know, just something that randomly sits in my purse. Um, but anyway, so that is my newest, um, bag from QVC. It is the lug navigator. When I ordered it off of QVC, there were only three patterns, but they did say that they were going to have more selection again, um, coming up soon. So and I just love the Wildfire Black. It pretty much goes with almost anything in my wardrobe because I am more of a neutral um, color wearer. I don't really go for outlandish, you know, type of colors just because I know what looks good on me. I know what I like. I know what my favorite colors are, you know, and that's what I prefer using. So, all right, you guys, um, thank you very much for tuning in again. Hope to see videos from all of you soon. Um, and you guys have a wonderful, blessed weekend and day. Take care of yourselves. Much love.